So we're here right now in the fairway of the second hole, kind of in the approach to the, the green. And we're actually down low, and, and this is all flood area through here. Um, one of our big goals with the Tamashana renovation was not to prevent the floods because that's going to occur. We're right along the Skokie River here and the water does flow through here. It is effectively a, a flood storage area. But when that water goes down, they had always perennially stayed wet in the soil. And so you'll see behind me some, I guess, scars in the, in the grass where we actually lifted the sod and we trenched in two inch slit drainage, backfilled that all with sand and put the sod back. And anywhere we had drainage problems in the past, we've installed that technique. Um, and so far, so good. It's, it's really helped to drain the golf course after the floods recede. You'll also notice in the background, that's the third tee. We lifted up all the tees that were in the floodplain to an elevation that we knew was reasonably safe from flooding. Um, in the past, the tees would go completely underwater. and Sometimes we'd lose grass. Now with the new tee elevations, we're actually able to keep that surface out of the flood zone and uh, not lose any grass when we do have those situations. Believe it or not, since the renovation ended in December, we've actually had four floods out here. So it's been a challenge, but the drainage has worked well, the tees have worked well, and hopefully it'll be all good going forward. And hey, we're here at the sixth green of Tam Shanter Golf Club. I finally hunted Superintendent Jim Stoneberg down. Jim, how's Hi. it going? Great, good to see you. Jim's busily preparing for tomorrow's grand opening. Um, so this has been a challenge growing this thing. Uh, you've been here, what, 19 years now? Correct. It's my 19th year on the course. How long have you actually been with the uh, park? 29 with the park district. Wow. So tell us a little bit about Tamashanter. This is uh, the Niles Park District owns it. How long have they had it? Correct. And what was its previous? Uh, uh, previously, it was the uh, Tamil Shanter Country Club owned by George S. May. They had the World Open, the U.S. Open, and the uh, Western. Western, yes, correct. And yeah, we've seen some really cool video of the actual 18-hole course played on the other side of Howard. Correct. You guys now own the, the, what's left here on the, the north side. So in your two decades of work here, have you been through a renovation like this? Never, never. So I'm glad it came about, though, that's for sure. Yeah, you've, we've done some exciting things. Um, I know we've made improvements to drainage and bunkers. In your opinion, so what you've seen so far, what do you think is going to be the best thing for you moving forward? Well, it's by far all the drainage, all the uh, in the bunkers and the in the fairways. It's just it's the Billy Bunker fantastic. Liner system is is held up. Over, fantastic. I mean, we've had four big rain events, four flood events, and I know you've drained well. Um, finally, allowed you to get out on the golf course. Yes, definitely. So you've got uh, tomorrow. The we're going to cut the ribbon. Um, are you going to be able to uh, tell anybody what your favorite hole is, or? Yeah, I, we're kind of standing on it, number six. I, uh, and this is one of the originals, correct? Correct, from Tita Green. Yeah, well, we're excited about what's happened here. I, I think you are. You're doing an excellent job getting this thing in shape. Um, looking forward to you tomorrow. Likewise. And seeing you a bunch this summer when we're playing. Likewise. And hopefully we can get some people out to play the golf course, because I think they're going to really like it. Definitely. Thank you for your time.